Hey folks, um, exciting new product today here. We're trying the Dura Coating Technologies Dura Dressing Tire Kit. Permanent tire coating that can last up to the life of the tire. Um, these tires I'm going to have on here for a long time, so I don't expect that to happen. But you can see they are fairly clean already. Um, I'm just going to give the rims a good hand washing here um, to clean off you know, some of that excess dirt that's on there. And then I am going to go through this kit. They give you a tire brush. They give you some gloves, of course, which is very nice of them. Uh, they give you a sponge applicator. I'm going to use a paintbrush to put the rest on. They give you a spray nozzle. And the actual Dura dressing itself. So the full instructions are on duracoating.com. They give you this really nice applicator here in the kit. And finally, they give you the applicator to use on the tires itself. And the Step 2 Dura Cleaner, the world's best tire cleaner and degreaser, which I have watched some other videos here, and it is. So, tire cleaning is critical for Dura dressing to work. Some instructions are there. Blah, 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 blah. So this is going to take a little while. I am going to show you one tire and how it works. While I am in the process here, I am actually going to hand wash the whole tire, the whole rim, because I want to apply as much polish on this rim as I can, because after I am done with the uh, actual coating here, I am going to ceramic coat these tires the best that I can as well. So that is the plan. We are going to get started here. All right, so we did the two bucket wash method. Made sure that our tires are clean here, both the passenger side tires. So I am going to dry these off with a nice plush microfiber cloth, and then I'm going to polish them. I won't bore you all with that video. Um, after I get them polished, I am going to apply the uh, tire coat cleaner and then the dressing. So we will get to that shortly. All right, guys, so we have the Step 2 Dura Cleaner, the world's best tire cleaner and degreaser. So this is strong stuff. According to Dura Cleaner, or uh, Dura Coating, this is the strongest um, tire cleaner on the market. So we are going to, and it says specifically here, folks, not to not to spray this onto the tire or into the air because it's very harmful to breathe in. So we've got a fan on us right now to kind of have some pressure downward. And then what it says to do is kind of spray this into the brush like that. And the design of the handle is not too great. And it says you just scrub like this. And it doesn't, it's not supposed to hurt the rims, but there's a reason why I'm doing this here first before I do 
the actual uh, ceramic coating of my tires. So you can see this is pretty filthy. This is really strong stuff. And we're just scrubbing in the tires just like that. All the areas where the uh, dirt coating is going to go. And it's all going to go right onto the floor. So we're just scrubbing, trying to get some of that ceramic, or not ceramic, silicone tire sealing off what I had on the truck before. And then once we're done with this step, we're gonna rinse it off. We're gonna let it sand, stand on here for a little bit. And then we are going to rinse it, rinse it off the tire with our pressure washer. We're probably gonna have to do this step Oh, I would say a good two to three times in order to get all of the stuff off the tire, basically. I'm just going to spray a little bit down there to let that work itself off. And when we apply the dirt coating, we really want to make sure that we're moving this tire back and forth so we get good, equal coverage. But this is still pretty brown. Gloves are important here. This is an acid. This eats away at stuff. So we're just going to keep doing this. Until there's no more suds. No more colored yellow or brown suds. This is a fairly new tire as well. They say for new tires, it could take up to five, five uh, times of doing this here. So we'll see. I'm just hoping that the amount of tire cleaner that they gave us is enough for all four of my off-road tires here. I'm really hoping so. So we've got the whole tire. I'm just gonna let this stuff eat away at what's ever on there, all the all the uh, uh, silicone or material on it. And it's very important that we get all this stuff off of our rim as well. So now, what we are going to do Take a look at the directions one more time. We're going to rinse and allow it to dry while you move on to the other three tires. So we're going to turn on the pressure washer here and we are going to give it a rinse off. We're going to let it dry and then we're going to come back to it. All right, folks, so we let the tires with the DuraClean sit overnight. I wanted to get a good installation video of it, um, but I wasn't able to because I don't have a one terabyte storage iPhone. I only have the 526. So I was a little bummed out about that, but you're not missing out on much. Um, the tires, this is two coats of the tire shine, and I did a very good job at getting around the whole tire. Pretty impressed with myself here. Um, I may go over, I, I actually am going to go over one more coat on these tires, I think, after I finish my truck. I'm almost fully done with this truck. I don't have too much left to go um, in terms of ceramic detailing it, ceramic coating it. But I am fairly impressed. You can see a little bit of where the water was down there. It just didn't get it, didn't bond to it very well. But I am overall impressed with this uh, Dura dressing here. Um, I do have to say, one of my criticisms of it was that it was a big pain in the ass to clean. And I'm not sure, I looked at the directions, they said that you should use all of the Dura cleaner on a tire of this size or a truck of this size, pretty much all of it. Um, these are 33s, not 35s. So 
I didn't use quite all of this. I actually ended up with probably about half left in there. And I was expecting to use more of this Dura dressing here as well. But um, now I have more to do my golf cart tires and my car tires. So that's kind of a plus there. But they did say leave 60 minutes for cleaning your tires. I did have clean tires, but I spent the full 60 minutes cleaning my tires. And uh, it was a pain in the butt. I will be honest with you. This sprayer on this sucks. You can barely get any any of the Dura Cleaner out when you spray it. Um, that's one negative of it. And another negative of this, uh, there's really only two negatives of this. It's cleaning the tires with this Dura Cleaner, which does work fantastic. This is the best tire cleaner I've ever used. And using this bristle brush. So I had to, I of course put ceramic coating on these uh, rims as well. And these rims were in rough shape when I bought them clearly, but they look a lot better. Um, I was not impressed with that bristle brush because I was scratching and there was nothing I could do about it. You, you, can't, you can't fix that unless you don't have the rim on the tire. Um, I was scratching the outside part of the rim. And of course, these are fuels and they're not factories. So the uh, sealant on them probably isn't as strong as a factory rim. So I had to go around again and repolish the outside of the rims and then put the ceramic coating on. Um, and and it, it really took a good three hours to do four tires and uh, clean them and then put the coatings of um, the Dura dressing on. So it is a pain in the butt, but like the directions say, you only have to clean your tires once. So I guess if you have three hours into truck tires that you know come out looking like this, I would say the product is worth it for sure. Um, Again, you know, the cleaning process of it sucked like anything does. Cleaning your vehicles is not fun. Um, the end result is cool. Putting the waxes, the additives, the sealants on there is cool. Putting the tire shine on there is cool. Um, putting the ceramic coating on there is a lot of fun. But the actual cleaning portion of it sucked. I just wish there could be a better streamlined way of doing it. But there is not. But uh, this is the best overall shine I have ever seen with any tire shine I have used before. Um, very, very, very impressed. And I'm not just showing the right rear tire. I mean, they all look like this. These all look fantastic. Yeah, I mean, they all look fantastic. I just, I have no complaints about the product. Um, the only thing is the cleaning, but again, I mean, that comes with anything that comes with the prep work of a ceramic coat as well. I mean, I've got hours and hours into prepping for the ceramic coat and then actually getting to the, uh, ceramic coat was easy. That's the easy part. The application is the easy part. The, uh, the prepping work sucks, but overall I am highly impressed with this. I am going to give a few, you know, a month update here, uh, three month update, five month, et cetera, et cetera. We are getting into fall now. So we are actually getting into the uh, snowy, salty season here in a few months. So I am excited to see how these do and uh, with the proper technique, washing technique, if they will still shine like they do today. So uh, for the money I spent on that Dura, Dura dressing, well worth it. Well worth it. Way better than buying those stupid tire shines that, you know, you throw on after you wash your car on a dirty tire and then the tire stays dirty after driving it, you know, down a back road basically after a day. So, again, highly, highly recommend this Dura Dressing Tire Kit. I really do like it. I paid money for it. I expected a great product. And as of right now, I got a great product.